whoa, 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 whoa. This feels like deja vu. But let me just start from the beginning of how I got my hand onto this beauty. Two weeks ago, I got an email from a drawing tab of the company known as, uh, Eugen? <laughs> U, Uji? Uji. You, oh, Yuji Itadori. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, they kindly gifted me this tablet to review. And I'm so excited, as you can tell from my voice, because it's one of those drawing monitor type things. I never had it, but a first time for everything, as I say. Oh, <laughs> totally forgot to introduce myself. Just your average art weeb at your service, Mikaela Mofu. Or Michaela, if you like. As you read the title, we will be unboxing the UGU 1200? Thousand? Thousand, okay. I've only had my iPad to draw on and I love it to death. But I always wanted to do more bigger projects like comic making, animatics, and all that sort of mumbo jumbo that you guys don't really want to hear at the moment. So I really hope this product can deliver. Oh, and um, this video is going to be my first impressions and honest reviews. So like whatever I say, it's honestly how I personally feel and let's get on to it. So we have a few little things in the box and as I'm laying it out, you can of course see it. We have so far the tablet, we have the pen, we have the extra nibs alongside the little pulley thing to pull the extra nibs out. The needed cables you need to you know, plug it up and the drama glove. Oh, yeah, and a cleaning cloth as well. So we have the tablet, which in my personal opinion, I really do like the tablet. The screen is pretty small, but you know, it's something I gotta get used to. It is a bit bigger than my iPad, so I would say that much. Personally, a couple of cons I would say is that it doesn't have a stand, so you will probably have to buy a separate stand for it. Cause let's be honest, you do not want to draw on your drawing monitor on your table, and that's just so uncomfortable and the positioning and posture is absolutely terrible for you. So I do not recommend it. And I recommend you get a, you know, a stand for it. This second con is the fact that it doesn't have a pen holder, so like you're just gonna have to put the pen somewhere safe so it doesn't, you know break <laughs> so yeah extra nibs are always helpful i don't have no complaints about that that is a con in my book and the cables i won't lie to you but these cables had me confused i am not the most tech savvy person i promise you i'm not in my family i really am surprisingly enough well it's not hard but like i, I didn't know like it had like three plugs and you had to plug it into another thing and it was kind of confusing, so I had to read the manual. But I got I got a hold of it. You you see, I got I got a hold of it. And um, <laughs> the next thing is drawing gloves. Oh my god, I have too many drawing gloves. I swear, I have like at most maybe three or four random drawing gloves just spread it all around. I just don't know why. But personally, I do love the Eugene drawing glove. It fits my hand really well, and it feels kind of tight. It doesn't feel loose. I don't know why, but a lot of the gloves are really made for like more bigger hands. And I am not a big hand person. Okay, I am short and I have tiny small stubby hands okay so it's kind of hard for you know other hands matter all right just just you know it does and UG delivered on this glove it's a really nice glove so you know if there was one thing you guys at least want out of this it's a drawing glove let's be honest now to download the drivers it's pretty easy like ridiculously easy all you have to do is go to the site UG type in UG driver and you just click the download button and you hit download and you have to restart your laptop and yeah the pen pressure feels nice but personally I still really do love my Apple pencil yep you know this pen does get the job done so I'm not gonna worry too much about it I think the reason why I also feel the way I do feel is because it does have like this very plastic almost like cheap feeling to it unlike the Apple pencil which has like this weight to it it feels like when i'm holding a ug pen it feels like it goes just flop out of my hand <laughs> i don't know that's just personally my opinion on that for the price of this tablet i should also mention it is absolutely a nice alternative for others who just can't afford you know expensive tablets so in my opinion that's kind of cool little funny note i was just happening to perusal yes i don't even know if that's a word do not correct me okay i'm gonna roll with it i was perusing on instagram and so i happened to like discover i did not know that you can like put like accessories or like keychain accessories onto your like a drawing tab like they have like a loop for your keychain and i have so many keychains 
you guys just do not know and i really wanted to do this like cute accessory part and so like the video in itself was like someone you know putting the screen onto their little drawing tablet and it's just like sitting there and it's just so cute and i was like okay you know what i have too many keychains plus i am very much in my breath of the wild legend of zelda vibe right now and you know what why not use my keychain that i bought that's totally not silent but you know we're gonna rock with it because it's cute and i love you know these two they're my favorites so yeah and um as you see i am scraggling very much scraggling i needed so much help and you guys just do not know because i cut it up so but genuinely i don't know why i scruggled so hard with it and to be honest with you it was like 5 a.m when i was trying to like unbox it and do all this stuff so like i was just not feeling it and i was tired as crap yes i record pretty early but that's just because no one's up so i can kind of be a little louder okay all right but eventually i did finally get it onto you know the tablet and it looks so cute and i just had to uh make some adjustments because you know i didn't actually have like a little screen to like go into like the little loopy loop and that you, you know of course you need that for the loopy loop <laughs> and uh yeah i just got like a random screen so that's why it looks weird but uh i, I promise i'll probably try to go to like some crafting store or whatever and get like a proper keychain tassel for it but yeah but just look at my little babies just sighting link just being adorable on my tablet it's so cute Alrighty, i think we got all the boring i mean uh joking <laughs> but important stuff out of the way now onto the drawing so i actually have a few drawing ideas originally it was going to be a drawing of sakura and eno from naruto in my style but you know i'd have been more funny if i draw yuji from jjk because you know yuji 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 itador <laughs> i'm sorry you know if it's not actually even pronounced yuji and it's pronounced yujin which kind of doesn't even sound right either <laughs> This joke does not fly and it would not actually be funny at all. And, you know, I try my best. I try my best to come up with quips, but I'm just, I, it, <laughs> I'm just not. I just, I just can't. Okay, so hey guys, um, this is me just coming in to tell you guys a little bit about how I personally feel using UG and also using this program, which is, I am using Clip Studio Paint for drawing this drawing of you of course and so um i have a few things i at least tried to like bullet point the points i wanted to make so you guys you know it, it's not all over the place it's just me rambling <laughs> but it's probably gonna be a little bit off script i am sorry for that but yeah <laughs> so the first thing i want to start off with is clip studio paint so to start off with i actually really sort of like clip studio paint it's kind of nice but at the same time I would not lie to you, I struggled. I tried to learn Clip Studio Paint in a day because I, I realized, oh crap, I gotta like do this video and get it out. And I just didn't have time to like plan out because like next week I won't be like here to like record videos because I'll be on vacation. But I wanted to still like get this video out for you guys. So I had to like hurry up and like learn Clip Studio Paint in like literally a day. I do want to mention that I have used drawing programs similar to like Clip Studio Paint because I have used MetaBang originally before. Um, but you guys don't know, I actually originally used to do a lot of my digital art before I got an iPad and had Procreate. I actually had like a drawing tablet. I think it was a Julian tablet. It was, it was like a drawing tablet, but it didn't have a screen on it. So I had kind of constantly look up what I'm drawing on my laptop and like look back down and draw. So it, it was that whole thing. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm not even, I do not like those type of tablets because oh my God, you need eye coronation and just to really get really good at it. But I was good at it for like a while. I won't lie to you. I was probably drawing like that for about a year. And eventually I got Procreate and an iPad and, and, and changed my life. And I, I don't want to go back. I want to go back. I guess the one few things I can say is that I had to kind of understand how to do it again because it's been like years since I drew on my laptop and oh man I, I mean I still really enjoyed it it was a very interesting experience and to be honest after some time I started really getting into it and how funny of a groove I got into is that I started drawing this Yuji drawing I think I started around like 9 p.m and then <laughs> I did not stop drawing 
until around about 4 a.m. I swear to you, I'm not lying to you. <laughs> I, 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 I tend to be like that sometimes. And I do not realize the time goes by and then I'm like, oh, holy crap, I'm drawing for like, for like, <laughs> Like literally six to like something hours and like not too many breaks in between if this is a little bit of advice do not do what I do because what I do is stupid <laughs> really take care of yourself and sleep as well anyways but I like I said I was really getting to the groove of it again and it was kind of fun like I said I really enjoy it. I feel like if I continue to use clip studio paint I can really get better at it and hopefully even good at it enough to like kind of just use it just like like whatever but like i said i was really uh having a lot of scruggles i will not lie to you i scruggle so much i was like where is the uh, protect alpha feature where is clipping mask how do you make new layers how do you rename layers what is this <laughs> and it, it, it took a lot it's i scruggled a lot and had to like use the internet a few times so yeah <laughs> now i'm going to talk about another point i do also want to mention I, I i have like two laptops right one has happens to be like one of those like touchscreen laptops and the other one's like not a touchscreen laptop i originally tried to hook up the ug tablet to like the touchscreen laptop but for some reason i don't know what the heck happened but it was not acting right at all it was like glitching and it kind of made it very hard to just draw like i don't know what it was i thought it originally was my pen and i needed to like uh, collaborate it or whatever but no it was not because the next thing happened is i ended up like unplugging everything laptop that's not touchscreen in and it worked perfectly it was almost smooth like butter I was like, yeah, okay, wow. <laughs> Maybe it was a touch screen and it just it just didn't work. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. So gladly I still could be able to make this piece because I was like, oh crap, if I didn't have like a proper laptop for this, this, this really was not gonna be a great <laughs> video to like, you know, make or whatever. But gladly I did get all that sorted out. And like I said, it was smooth sailing after that. Another thing I also <laughs> do wanna mention, so this drawing in particular, uh, as I said before, I am drawing Yuji Itadori from the good anime that I am so much trash of, JJK or Jujutsu Kaisen, right? To explain a little bit of the reason also why I am drawing him, not just because of the stupid joke I made about Yuji, Yuji. I'm, it's not that, okay? It's more of, um, originally I actually tried to draw him like, I think it was a couple months ago. I was trying to do a birthday drawing for Yuji. And so what happened and what, what made me so upset when I think about it now is I I couldn't finish it because I, like, I, I got some part into the rendering process and for some reason I just was hating the piece. And it looked so ugly. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just didn't like it. It made me really sad because there were like some like cool things about it i like i was experimenting with the style at that point also i love like the little almost sticker like i will show you guys the piece so you guys understand but it's unfinished i do want to mention but it was like these little sticker things that's like nobara it was gojo and then it was megumi and it's like the little sticker <laughs> it's cute it was a cute idea and i'm so mad and i really wish i finished it so like in a way i could compare my older version yuji to this new version yuji because i feel like i I did a lot in this drawing and now to talk a little bit about the drawing itself. I was experimenting a lot in this drawing. You can tell because it's so much more different than my normal art style or my at least my normal coloring style. Like I, it's still like the same sketch. Like I, I still draw like that but like I wanted to really go and experiment a lot with the rendering and coloring because I don't actually have a particular color style. I do not know if you guys do not know, but if you do not know, I would tell you. So I don't actually have a particular coloring style. Like each piece I make is so different from the last. And it makes me so upset that I do not have like a particular coloring style. Like I do, like there are so much coloring styles and painting styles and stuff like that that I really adore. But, I, and I try to imitate it or like some of my favorite artists that I follow, like they have like this really cool painting style I wanna try to imitate. So I try to do that. And sometimes it just never work out for me. And sometimes it just comes out looking so muddy and messy and I hate it. And then there are times where I sometimes just do it like a very more cleaner with the line art and it looks nice as well. But I don't know, it's very hard for me. And I won't lie to you, I really, really like this piece. Or I'm like, when I was rendering it, I was like, I don't know why I just wanted to go very just experimental with it. 
um i yes it may look a little very much different from my art style but i i really really like this piece in a way like i like like the more muted like color i don't use this type of color palette often and it just really looks pretty i think i also just loved the way i rendered his skin and just everything about that and even the nose i do not render noses as you can tell because it doesn't look that great but i like it and it's just so nice and I don't know I just in a way just happy <laughs> I'm actually happy I I do think I want to like kind of incorporate this style a bit more into like more finished detailed drawings because like I'm not gonna draw detailed things like this every single time because that is very time consuming and I also knew that when I started drawing this tablet again that my time decreased how fast I finish a piece like this piece is taking me like a couple hours way longer than if I was drawn on my iPad but I don't mind because it was just a very nice calming process in a way. Like I wasn't stressing or nothing like that. It was just fun. And I was listening to music and I just, uh, I was vibing. It was nice. I love it. There was one thing that kind of annoyed me when I was drawing. This was like the only like annoying con thing about it is the pencil or like the little pen that you use to draw. I do not really like it all that much because Yuji's pen has like two buttons to like change from like the race tool or the pen tool and like another tool which is like the right click tool. I somehow always find my hand like slipping to that point and I was like misclick something and I erase something and it's so annoying and I just wish it had like a better grip and like that's my only concern with like this product in itself but the tablet works fantastic almost and I, I just I don't see much of a weird difference mainly also because this is my first drawing tablet but <laughs> genuinely I actually really like this product and yeah I do recommend it <laughs> I recommend it also for beginners and people who are trying to get like a budget like drawing tablet I really recommend it so I just want to say before I end off this video thank you so 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 very much Yuji for this like honor in a way do you know because i didn't expect i was gonna get a sponsor where like it's a drawing monitor tablet whatever but you know it's cool it's awesome and i like i said i, I genuinely couldn't have made it without you know really my subscribers and and you know and the people who enjoy my content enough that i could get the attention of a drawing tablet company and like i said i genuinely am grateful uh for this honor another thing i do want to mention is so I've been trying to like do like different type of content. I do not know if you guys personally have been enjoying it. I mean, to be honest, the algorithm hasn't been enjoying it, but you know, I've been making, you know, some videos at least I feel like I'm happy or proud of at least. So, you know, it still means so much to me that I still do get as much at least comments. That's always gonna be like very, like my top priority at the end of the day. And um, again, I do want to thank, you know, Yuji for being able to, you know, send this towel in my way so I can review it. I'm definitely going to be using it, like, in the near future for, like, a lot of different type of animatics because, man, I have so many, like, animatics in my head. But, you know, Procreate is so limited. So, I just, I really do think this is, like, you know, something special in the making. Anyways, I rambled all too long. So... If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It's always super duper helpful. And, you know, it shows me that you support me and you want to see more content like this. And secondly, if you won't, you know, you can subscribe as well. It is free, by the way. I should mention. I'm not saying that, but that subscribe button is looking kind of good. I'm not going to lie. You know, maybe think about subscribing. <laughs> Jokingly. But, you know, if you guys want to, you can subscribe. And, you know, I will see you guys until next time. Stay mofu and mofus.